Hey y'all, welcome to Maverick Gun Works. Today I want to talk about something that we've been working on for a couple weeks now. Um, golden Oldie, I guess you call it. Uh, Browning Auto 5. And this is a, most people know it as a Browning A5. Uh, this is a 16 gauge, sweet 16 to call it. And it is uh, definitely seen as better days. But anyway, we're going to go through some of the stuff we've been doing to it and show you some of the possibilities that could be wrong with something like this. Um, the customer brought it in with the problem of it not ejecting, all right? So, took a quick look at it. I see the, uh, the extractor was broken on the left side of the bolt. And here's the part that was left over. You may can see that a little bit. This was, uh, the left side of the bolt has an uh, extractor and this claw was broken off of it, so that was gone. If we dig into it deeper, <clears throat> we found out, figured out that the uh, ejector also was broken. With these two parts right here, are supposed to be one part and this is riveted onto the back edge of the barrel okay so we've had to uh, grind out drill out and punch out the the rivet and then remove the ejector that was broken and we've replaced that now <clears throat> and also uh, kept on digging and when we put it back together I actually started putting it back together and realized it's not working like smooth like it should be so that's where I found out that this connecting link have been modified in the past. It's been broken and re-welded, and in doing so, uh, somebody whoever put it back together didn't put it, didn't make it straight. It actually, it was an, it's an arc here, so it was binding every time the bolt comes back. It was binding back here in your recoil tube. Okay, so we've uh, replaced that piece also. Whew. And then we also found nothing illegal about this. Nothing wrong with it, but rather than the typical um, plug that comes from the factory in your barrel to keep your, or making a magazine tube rather to keep you from having to uh, have or being able to shoot more than three rounds for bird hunting, for example. There's a pencil in the, uh, in, in the magazine tube, which is nothing wrong with that. It's just uh, a interesting <laughs> discovery that we don't always see. And anyway, we've got a, a pencil here from Lowe's Home Improvement, but it does the trick, okay? It makes it legal for bird hunting. Um, also, as I was working on it, I found a couple other things that we had to address. The stock, is severely was severely cracked broken through here and uh, through here also so we're able to uh, put some epoxy in that we've got it glued back together and it's going to be as good as, as good as it can be without doing a major restoration on it <clears throat> and I also found a couple of screws that were that were buggered up uh, and damaged and the holes have been retapped not the right size the hole here uh, this tab or screw here that fits through holds part of your trigger assembly in that screw is the wrong one, all right? And it's been uh, drilled out and retapped, and the threads on the screw actually are messed up. So I couldn't do much with that. Fortunately, it has a, uh, another uh, screw that holds that in place, so it's not gonna be an issue as far as it walking out on us. It's just not what it should be as far as originality and uh, not quite as precise as we'd like to have it uh, when, it, when it, uh, it holds the trigger guard back in, all right? So anyway, that's some of the stuff we've done to it. And uh, it's a shame to let a, let a gun like this get in that condition. If it, I mean, if you got something that's causing a problem, go ahead and have it addressed before it gets really bad like this one has. Um, it can be fixed a lot of times, but you got to look at economically, is it really worth it for the uh, value of the gun? This, uh, we've done a lot, of, a lot of work on this one, and we've got it, back, got it back together now. So let's step outside with a couple of 16-gauge uh, shells and make sure it's going to do what it's supposed to do. All right? Okay guys, I've got down to the range. One thing I didn't mention earlier was uh, the fact that this gun was inc incredibly dirty also. It took a lot of uh, scrubbing off the sonic tank work and uh, you know, degreasing, get it cleaned up where it should be to uh, keep it from malfunctioning again. So if you got a gun like this, or even especially with the folks that duck hunt um, and you get, could very likely have the, the gun exposed to salt water situations if you're at the coast, you gotta keep them clean guys. You gotta put oil in them. Um, prevent such as this happening. So anyways, we've got a couple of 16 gauge shells here. And we're gonna uh, give her a try and make sure she cycles like she's supposed to before we send it home. All right, so here we go. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> well, see it's old beat up, little uh, shotgun, but still works like it's supposed to. It's hard to beat the browning quality, you know? Anyways, if you got some uh, 
some uh, old gun like this that you need to help with, give us a call. And if you have any comments maybe about uh, the old Sweet 16 that others might uh, benefit from, um, send, us a, uh, you know, send us a note on, uh, on the channel. Thank you.